Hello, welcome to Subjective. This is a series of interviews with contemporary fashion models to try and establish really the history of fashion photography through their eyes. Um, if you happen to be watching via Show Studios YouTube, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe below. Bridget Lacombe's photograph of you yep. and Kate, super um, relevant because Kate did a similar sort of thing at a different time, that yes. she defined an era. The other thing I find interesting with me and Kate, or Kate yeah. and me, yeah. is that, as you know, most models are over five foot eight, usually five yep. ten, yep. five eleven, six foot. We can yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah. I we're we're the same height. Yeah. And we're both. Um, well, I'm not anymore, but not that I'm a big fat thing. But I was minute. She yeah, yeah. was minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I'd have gone to an agency in '66, they yeah. wouldn't have taken me because no. my size. No. I know she was discovered by somebody. Yeah. And I'm wondering if she had gone to one. And yet it's ironic that if you go around the world yeah. and ask people about fashion models, yeah. nine times out of ten, they'll mention me and Kate Moss yeah. as well, you are. probably the yeah. two most famous. Yeah. And yet we're under the... Yeah, you're not the typical, physically, yeah. you're not Which typically. Which is weird, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, so. maybe Shrimpton and she was tall, but I... But even Shrimpton, and, and a brilliant model, but she didn't quite get the same exposure that you no. got. And it's fun. Um, I've, I've talked to Kate about this. It is ironic that we're the two little ones, and yet. <laughs> yeah. So I was a judge on America's Next Top Model for about yeah, three right, years. Yeah, yeah. And How was that experience? It was great. I had yeah. great fun. <laughs> and Tyra's Tyra divine. Banks, yeah. And she's yeah. like Amazonian, yeah. Tyra. She's yeah. absolutely gorgeous and really fun. Listen, yeah. we were lit brilliantly. So I'm pleased to oh, hear it. Oh, <laughs> boy. She had banks of light. Yeah. Unbel- I used to say, Tyra, I love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the way she we're knows what she's doing. But I used to say to the girl, you know, the, when they the came models. out, the models, yeah. and Tyra would often say, you're too short. And yeah. I'd say, hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five foot six. Yeah, <laughs> She'd yeah. really laugh. But you, you and Kate occupy a similar sort of thing in, in the general fashion world. Yeah. That you've become more than just a model. Yeah. You become, you represent. You know, much well, she's re- a huge personality. Well, so are you. you well, well. I mean, you both are. <laughs> God, is. We we became models with voices. I think. Yeah. We beca- We stepped out of that thing of. Yeah. Well, certainly for me, because I didn't plan to do it. And mm. I thought if, when I started, everyone had gone crazy because I always thought I was funny looking. Yeah. So it, it was just like a revelation to me. So I suppose, you know, I didn't fall into that thing of thinking, oh, I'm glamorous. And, no, no, and, no. I, and, and, you, and you never get that feeling with Kate, do you? No. I love her. She's no. so like, she came to, I was doing a show off Broadway based on um, Noel Coward and Gertrude Lawrence. I was playing right. Gertie. Right. <clears throat> And it was all Noel Coward songs. It was fabulous. Yeah. It was a two-hander. And it was a small show, but it was beautiful. Yeah. And Lee, my husband, directed it. And, yeah. um, and Kate came to see it. Yeah. And, um, and after she said, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but when she came backstage, we came out and we were going to go off to dinner. And I'll never forget, because she looked amazing. She had one of those Chinese skin-tight yeah, yeah, yeah. dresses that come up. I've, they've got a name. I can't remember what they're called. But yes. they do up. Yes. Them, yes. And they've got to slit up the side. With the highest heels I've yeah. ever seen. I can't oh, sure. walk in amazing. high heels. And as we came out, a couple of paps kind of yeah. saw her. Yeah. And then saw me with her. And yeah. they were running. She said, come on, twigs. <laughs> We're going to run. I said, you can't run in those shoes. You're breaking. She said, watch me. And she ran up that street. <laughs> and we got away from them, actually, and got into the restaurant. And the yeah. restaurateur but wouldn't let the guys in. But she was so funny. The, <clears throat> it might be just because I'm seeing this from a different perspective. But obviously, I lived through Kate's mm. fame and for her dealings that she had to do with the media. But there was, there was a moment where Kate was, was particularly vilified in the press. She was attacked for, you know, whatever it was. Yeah, and, I know. Yeah, she, she gets sort of labelled with lots of different things. <clears throat> I don't feel that's happened to you. Am I correct in saying that? Uh, mostly not. No. There's been a few things. I, I've had a pretty good relationship with the press. Yeah. Um, they've been pretty kind to me. I've had a few bad reviews, but everyone gets No, sure, reviews. but this, this is... There's a couple of people who... I remember opening the paper once, so I don't know. Yeah. 12 years ago, and some headline say, I won't say who it was, I know who it was, I'll tell you after. (laughs) Saying, I hate Twiggy. This person had never met me. Yeah. You know, it was like, why would you write that? 
The trouble is, if you put Twiggy in a headline or Kate Moss in a headline... It sells more stuff. I mean, I did a film once. It wasn't a very good film, but it wasn't my fault. I was one of yeah. 20 actors. Yeah. There was a whole crew, you know. It was the Twiggy film. That oh, really? The headline was Twiggy's film. Yeah. And I wasn't even the lead. Right. There were other people, but because the press... Yeah. Get, they think probably because of the name. Yeah. So sometimes you do get picked on for that. Do you think times have changed? <coughs> do you think the relationship that people like yourself have with the media has changed? Were you more protected before with Kate? So I remember Kate used to have a pack of paparazzi would follow her everywhere. I well, I never had that, you see. I was pre-paparazzi, I'm lucky. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've had, I've had a couple of moments because you get them now, although they don't seem to to be as bad at the moment, but about five, six years ago, they yeah. would go around and try and get you without makeup, yeah. ugly shots, they call them. Right, okay. For certain magazines. Despicable thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they chase people, which is quite dangerous. Yeah, well, there's a horrible film of Kate being pursued by a sort of pack of... Well, one of my dear friends, again, a very famous actress, who I won't name because it's not fair. Yeah. I mean, they made her life at living hell for yeah. about two years. And she moved away in the end because she said, you know, and actually I think she took out an injunction against them. Yeah. Because she couldn't go to get a bottle of milk. They would, they, there'd be 12, 14 photographers in the hedge yeah. around her where she yeah. I mean, that is disgusting. That yeah, should no. not be allowed. No, I mean, the, the film of it's Kate, disgusting. which is when her, her <coughs> daughter Lila was probably three or four, yeah. and she ends up carrying it's at LAX and she ends up carrying under her own suitcase well as you have a mob of 20 guys just yeah. photographing them. Know. You know, it's a, literally a pack of dogs. I mean, it's sort of, you know, But why is it allowed by law? I don't know. I think it's very It has got a bit things. better, I think, hasn't it? I think so. Well, after the late Diana yeah. um, death. And, and you yeah. know who, you, who used to get it really badly, who was a really nice lady, who was Paula Yates. Oh, really? And, you know, it's just a terror. It's awful. And I don't know why they can't control it. No. And they're not photographers. No, well, they're not. I, 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 if it was, if I was you, I'd be offended that they're called photographers. Mm. Yeah. They're just like, as you say, a pack of wolves, and well, they don't want nice shots. They want ugly no, shots. No, of course they, they want. Sells, sells they want more. you going like that. Yeah, there's they a whole. You. Yeah, there was a guy who used to provoke people, so they well, would attack him or whatever. This person I'm talking about. That's yeah. what they used. They used to shout to her really yeah. awful things. Yeah. So she would shout back, and it's disgusting. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. <coughs> Kate Moss, you, in a similar sort of way, you're both the same height, you both had a very slight figure, you yeah. both represented a sort of cultural era, Kate in the 90s, you in the 60s. Um, it's a sort of strange how similar, in a way, those but two... But that's why it was nice when they came up with this, because this yeah. was the cover of the Sunday Times magazine... Oh, was it? ...in... The, at the millennium, 2000. Oh, right. really? It was January the 1st, 2000. Oh, how brilliant. So that, what they did, they did, it wasn't only me and Kate, they did sports people. So they did somebody yeah. from pre-2000. Yeah. And then some, it was almost like handing the gauntlet. Right, right, thing. okay. Yeah. And they had sports people, writers. Yeah. Well, we got the cover. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. Um, we were prettier than the cricketers. Um, I'm, <laughs> I would not but say the way. funny thing was, we yeah. spent, we went to do it, we spent an hour and a half, you know, in hair and makeup. Yeah. Again, I did my eyes, but the, and, and then the hairdresser did our hair. Yeah. And they had a stylist with hundreds of clothes. And, yeah. and Bridget came in, the lovely photographer lady, and she said, no, I don't want clothes, I want bare shoulders. You can see I've just got a, a T-shirt yeah. strapped around yeah. me, which Kate did. And she said, no hair. Slick it back, and the poor hairdresser was like, "Oh my God, I've just spent." Yeah, she well, was that's right. the nature of it. Yeah, yeah, but it brings you yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. It's a great shot. I love it. Fantastic, um, Twiggy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, thank you for having no, me. Oh, it's a pleasure.